hi guys so today is going to be a really exciting video i am so pumped about it is the fab fit fun um spoiler video for summer 2021 box i haven't done a spoiler video in like a year the last time i did a spoiler video was for the last summer box and it was because of covid i was off from work these videos that you have to be very fast paced so i have to literally like film this edit it and post it tomorrow because if not it's very irrelevant uh spoilers number two are already out um so since I am on spring break, I figured I would take advantage and I do actually have some of the products that are available. So it definitely is worth watching because you guys can see it in like, you know, real time action, although this is a video, but you know what I'm saying? Like you get a more, you know, you're not getting a fab fit fun point of view. You're getting a real person review. And then I just have some favorites from summer past box. I want to show you guys like how I literally incorporate it in my summer routine that doesn't sound right but you know what i'm trying to say so uh and these are things you can probably pick up in like edit sales and stuff like that if you guys want to keep watching then just keep watching so the product number one is the summer fridays cc me serum and it is one fluid ounce and it says that it brightens and it has two super powered forms of vitamin c it says this serum delivers instant brightness while reducing hyperpigmentation i will be doing some editing so you guys can see so you got there should be a photo to the left of me uh it is worth 64 dollars i know really good uh benefits to vitamin c is obviously just brightening dealing with hyperpigmentation it really helps with texture of the skin i like vitamin c I have them incorporated in my skincare routine, but I have a few. If you guys have watched any of my videos, I mentioned how I get tons of skincare. I cancel so many boxes. I have enough serums to last me a lifetime. So I, I never pick skincare anymore. It's very rare. If I pick some skincare, I really, really want to try it. So this will not be a choice for me. You guys let me know down below what you think you're going to pick. If you're going to do some add-ons, I'm probably going to end up doing add-ons. I always do. Choice number two is a product I have. So it is the PMD Beauty Clean. And it does say teal. So I believe you guys will be getting the exact color I got. It is valued at $99. I got this in the cause box. I know it showed up in a lot of other subscription boxes. PMD must be doing some deals with subscription boxes. But I do absolutely love it. So it says it cleanses and tones the appearance of skin with this smart facial cleansing device. Which cleanses the skin with over 7,000 vibrations per minute. So I'm going to be quiet for a second I, I don't know if this is going to pick up on camera it does have four different settings that i can feel in here but like i said i don't know if it'll pick up on camera so this is setting number one it's just a very general like cleansing setting just vibrating in my hand then if you do number two if you guys can hear that it's going a lot faster now so this is supposed to be more of a deep cleanse and then number three and number four are massage settings. So this is a massage setting. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's just going, it's pulsating basically on and off. And then number four is the same thing. It's pulsating on and off, but a lot faster. So there you go. And then what I really like about the PMD is it's a silicone head. So it's very antimicrobial. It's not like the Clarisonic where you had to I think it's a Clarisonic. I don't know. I never had it, but I know I had a cult following for a while where you have to change the brush heads. And I feel like this is a lot gentler on the skin. I've never had Clarisonic, but I've used like the off brand, you know, cleansing brush heads um, that were a lot cheaper. I would never pay $99 for this. That's why I'm glad I get subscription boxes. And another reason I really like the PMD is the other other side has these waves here and this is for your serums and your moisturizers to really get them into your skin you would put it on the massage setting and you would just pump some onto here and have it on as you put in your serums and your moisturizer so I love that little touch I will say as much as I love it I don't gravitate towards it every single day I do have it up in my bathroom my bathroom has a bluish purple theme so it goes perfectly with my decor um I just get really lazy with skincare I'm really trying to get on the grind I'm hoping I have summers off so even though I had a whole six months off, I wasn't able to get into a routine. COVID was really hard for me. I was like really depressed. It's why I started this YouTube channel. It was during quarantine of last year. I've had the channel about a year now. I started it last April and it was because I was just like really lonely and really depressed and I was really struggling. Um, so I'm hoping with this summer, everything's hopefully things are better. Um, and it's like, I can, have the time off get into my skincare routine and by the time i get back to work in september hopefully it will just be like second nature so i do grab this i do like it i just don't grab it daily there's just days where i'm like oh i just want to slap it on my hands and get out when i'm sleepy i am sleepy like i tell people all the time 
sleep, food, sex. That's the order of importance to me. Like sleep is number one for me. And that's why I've been enjoying sleeping in on my breaks. Everyone's like, do you have plans for your vacation? Uh, sleeping in, no alarm. That's the one thing I could say I loved about quarantine. Six months of no alarm was absolutely amazing. If I can make this my daytime gig, I don't ever think I'll get there, but it would be awesome to set my own hours and be able to sleep in every morning. Cause right now I work at a school and my alarm goes off every day at 5.45 and it is a struggle. But this is the second option for customization one. The third option is a bag for the summer. They are very on trend with their summer box. I always find they definitely pick amazing items that go with summer. And it is a neoprene beach tote and it comes in two colors. You can get it in either pink red or blue black or blue green and it's valued at $80. I find that price point to be very high, but I don't know this name brand. Maybe it's amazing quality and it just says tote your everyday essentials in this stylus neoprene bag whether you're headed to the beach or the pool. I'm more of a neutral bag person, so I don't think I'll be picking that and I have plenty of beach bags. I actually want to my cart right now from Target. Maybe I'll insert a picture uh, since I'm editing anyway. And it's like a really cool wood style bag. Um, I don't know if wood's the right word I'm looking for. Like it almost looks like a picnic basket. And I just find that so stylish for summer. The next option is a Virginia Wolf multi-wear wrap. It is worth $60. And it says whether you wear it as a sarong or drape it around your shoulders, this wrap can be styled in so many different ways. I know it goes like 80 inches, so it is very large. I am a very large person. I tell you guys, I never pick like wraps or clothes when it shows up in subscription boxes. My hips are like 60 inches. So granted, 80 inches would fit for me. But... I feel like I would be very limited. I feel like I would only be able to wear it as a sarong. When you see people, they're able to do all these cool things and turn it into like a halter dress. And I don't think I would have enough give to do that because I have a bigger body. Uh, so it's just not worth it for me. Like I said, you guys let me down below if you're picking any of these things. The last two will definitely be my choices. I don't know if I'll be getting both. I still keep going back and forth between them. But the next option is the Society 6 Outdoor Blanket. It is worth $60. And it just says this easy to carry blanket is water resistant making it perfect for your outdoor picnics i know one side is like a canvas and the other side i forgot the name of the material but basically one side is what you would put on the ground that's the side that is like wipeable that can get wet and the other side is the nice quilted side that you would sit on it has beautiful designs um it, i know it's made specifically by an artist i have a blanket that's why i keep debating back and forth but it is so beautiful i might get it the next option is also by Society6, another thing I'm contemplating, and it is a Society6 wine chiller for $49.99, and it just says, keep your wine chilled and looking cute in this stainless steel chiller. I think this would be perfect for the beach, uh, not just the beach or backyard picnics, anything like that. My mom barbecues all summer long. We have a picnic just about every single Sunday. If you guys watch any of my Dollar Tree hauls all summer, I was running into Dollar Tree almost every day for her because she wanted like just random things like oh paper plates for the backyard oh grab Hershey's and marshmallows so we can do um s'mores because she does have a fire pit so and I believe it is a sleeve that you just kind of put in the freezer and it just holds your bottle of wine to keep it cold I did buy my mom like this really cool for Christmas it was if I can find the picture I'll include it it was a metal like wine bottle basically that keeps your wine super cold but you would have to pour the wine from the bottle it comes in into that bottle not that that's a big deal but I like the idea of just popping the wine in a sleeve and it being cold so that's why i might choose it like i said i'm either definitely picking the wine shoulder blanket or maybe both and then the last option for customization one is the l space tie-dye towel valued at 58 dollars very expensive towel um not something i would have picked unless it was in a subscription box and it says this boho chic tie-dye towel features a beautiful blend of pastel blues and purple tones and i actually do have that behind me right here so i do have a little bit of information on this one um this one is 68 inches long and 30 inches wide and it is 100 percent cotton and it is made in india i grabbed this in the last summer box i honestly don't use it as a beach towel i have a hard time finding towels that fit my body because i am very plus size so i actually use this as a bathroom towel because it, I use a lot of beach towels as bathroom towels because it actually covers my entire body. As you can see, it is very, very long. I can't even get it in the frame. And I, like I said, my bathroom is a purplish blue theme. So this actually goes perfectly when I hang it behind my bathroom door. I love the little fringe detail. It is very lightweight. It's thin, but that's kind of what you want in a towel. You don't want something 
big and fluffy i mean i guess as a bathroom towel you would but i'm so used to these that this is what i prefer i feel like it's um it definitely just keeps me it sucks up the water and it keeps me dry and it's nice and big and cozy because sometimes i do hang around in a towel longer than i should so that is everything for customization one um do i want to show see that's the problem because i was going to do customization one as its own video and customization two as its own video but then i have all these products behind do i put that in one or do i put that in two i'm going to put that in number two because this is just the two products i had i want to show you guys customization two i actually don't have any of the products i have something that is similar that i will show you guys in two of the products but these are the exact products you would pick if you pick the pmd clean if you pick the l space towel let me know down below if you'll be picking either of these items or are you going to be picking something else like i said for me it is either going to be the wine chiller the blanket or both because i am annual i can do add-ons and it's an extra 15 dollars in this category as seasonal you can do add-ons technically i was originally seasonal when i signed up for fat fit fun and i was never able to do it every time i got on it said that there was no additional choices because the the annual members grab everything and then there's none left over for season at least that was my personal experience it is one of the reasons why i became annual so i can make additional choices um if obviously i could maybe should have started with this but if you don't know fat fit fun is is a lifestyle subscription box um it literally has everything from fitness to home to kitchen to fashion. It's one of my absolute favorite boxes. I don't ever see myself canceling. I've been canceling tons of boxes, but this is one I see myself having for a really long time. I'm super excited about this box. I'm really excited about customization too. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Subscribe if you want to check it out. And this, um, and it is a box that comes four times a year. So it comes spring summer winter and fall and there's two options you can be a seasonal member and you would just pay fifty dollars each box or and but with that you only get to pick four choices that's new it used to be three so they have been making changes and if you're an annual member you pay 180 up front i believe so it makes each box 44.95 uh but you do have to pay it up front but you get all customization choices before it used to be five for the annual and three for the seasonal but now we get to pick all of them which is absolutely amazing i am super looking forward to it. i can't wait to watch the rest of the spoilers but that is it for this video if you guys want to check out spoiler number two could subscribe hit the notification bell I believe it will be tomorrow's video. It's going to be today's, like I said. With the spoilers, you do have to film and get on it. So I will be editing this today. If you guys like FabFitFun, I do tons of FabFitFun unboxings. I am literally just filmed the edit sale for the spring box that I have to post. So definitely consider subscribing, liking the video if you like FabFitFun. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. I am just going to throw up some dates quick in case you guys don't know. May 6th is add-on choices for annual members. It's at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern time. May 7th at the same time, either 9 a.m. Pacific or 12 p.m. Eastern is when we have the option to customize. And then for seasonal members, it's always later. That's another perk of being annual. Um, it's May 20th for add-ons, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern time. And to customize, it is May 21st at the same exact times. But that is it for this video, guys. Be safe.